That is our bedroom window right there, as Emma just said, and quite amazing because we are heading from bedroom window, not quite woken up yet, all the way up to the top of there, straight from the house, and that's so cool. So, thought I'd bring you along. Okay, I would like to be going up to Mont Blanc, but I haven't got the equipment and the skills ready yet to be able to do that. But hey, one day that might be nice, heading up to the summit of Mont Blanc. Yeah, the climb just keeps zigzagging up and yeah, quite nice, quite uneventful. Can't see too much because of the trees, but every now and again you get like an opening like here and I'm sure I'm going to be treated with a really nice view and some wild flower flowers here. And then as you can see, we walk along like here and you can see across some of the valley over on this side and then on this side you see some like water fall off and uh, shoot which is just incredible look at all of that wow <laughs> little old me in a place that nature has carved out It's almost as red as your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so even though I've carried these poles all the way up with me, I feel like as almost I don't really need them today and I'm just carrying them. So I got them out, thought I may as well try and use them a little bit and you know, we've arrived at Baraque Forestière des Arnandelus Lys I don't know, but a little hut just here someone been running up and they were going up quite a nice pace Still some snow remaining up here. It's not gone. Let's see if I can hit Emma. <laughs> Lucky you ducked because it was going straight for your head. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's a good thing if I almost hit my wife in the head. But <laughs> we're all here, we're having fun, so yeah, we're going this way. More up. As soon as we've made it to the summit of Mont Lachat, the wind and the rain is coming, so heading back down. There's a hut over there. Probably gonna get a glass of water. You probably can't hear anything I can hear. So. <laughs> okay, maybe that <laughs> summit talk didn't really work out so well. We're now heading down because as soon as we got up there, I mean, up higher, really windy, and it was like raining and like hitting you like really hard, those little water droplets. But uh, yeah, we're great views yet again, and now we're heading down and back, and we're going along here, back down there, round to here, and then back to where we started over there. So, a few more kilometers, but it's all downhill, and it's a little bit less of a steep gradient, he says, as we go down some zigzags. But uh, yeah, just nice to be out of the wind right now, and probably good for YouTube. As I said, you can actually hear me this time. So now we're 
kind of descending, zigzagging down, protected a little bit. Now we're in this forest and dropped down a bit. It's like a nice warm pocket of air as well. It's, it's amazing how it changes. But yeah, being out there in the elements and having that wind and the rain rattling against you and uh, <laughs> Obviously, you've got to be prepared and educate yourself on these things like what if, what would you do? You have, you know, a security, a safety blanket, all these types of things, or, you know, know what you would, should do in those situations. But you can be safe and be in those places. And I just, I, I really enjoy that kind of like battle with the elements in a way, you know, or it's not a battle, but you feel the elements of what is going on. and. Yeah, wow. The view, it's not just about the views today, it's about all those other things. Like, also the smell, the scent of all these like wild plants. I'm gonna stop talking, sorry. So, just stopped into a little refuge up at the top of Bellevue, having an orangina. A little bit of a warm up in this little hut. It's so nice to be in here and just uh, chill. But the other thing I was saying yesterday about like the confidence, getting the confidence back, is also because last time I was in Chamonix, which was it, maybe eight months ago or something like that, and I was running down a hill, and as may, you may have followed on the YouTube channel, I hit my knee quite badly and had, you know, quite out for maybe like six weeks of no running at all and it, it took quite a long time to get back into it after that. But yeah, my knee got really heavily bruised and I don't know, some in major inflammation there. So the good thing here is for me that I am back in that environment going like up and down and no problems on that knee. And I'm so grateful for that and happy about it. So maybe saying that I'll probably finish this drink, chat a little bit more and then head downhill. I have to say, I really love these Morton solid bars. They're really good. It's like oats and syrup and almost tastes like a Rice Krispie bar if you know what one of them is. But perfect like energy boost and filling. That's maybe one of the reasons why I come out on these adventures. So I warrant to be able to have <laughs> some of these things because, well, A, they're expensive and, well, I don't, I'd like eating anyway, but. Mm. Well. So this is the perfect opportunity to show you. We started down there as the apartment we're staying in. We went up there up 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 around and round and round and then up onto this green summit here down and around like this we're going now round here back down to there